everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them what we're doing today. Today we're cooking up some survival food because it is snowy and it's time. And it's going to be nice and warm in our bellies and we cannot wait to show you how awesome this food cooks up. Yes. Let's get to it. Let's do it. everybody this is pretty exciting this is a 72 hour survival food kit by four patriots we are fans of four patriots have had some of their food for a very long time we actually have a 30 day kit behind here that's from 2014 one of the absolute favorite things for us about this company is that they support our veterans and a portion of their proceeds go towards supporting our veterans that is so awesome all this food just requires water and it's ready to go so let's open this kit and see what's inside okay what comes in this 72 hour kit for one person is creamy rice and vegetable dinner america's finest mac and cheese and grammy's sweet oatmeal which one do you want to try uh i really want to eat this but i think <laughs> i should try the chicken and rice it's creamy or, yeah. rice, but you know what? You could add chicken to this and stretch this meal. Let's show them our 30-day kit, some of the things we've put in it. Got some freeze-dried snacks in here. These aren't just snacks. These are real raspberry. Yeah. I mean, strawberries. Uh, salt and peppers from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Burger King, Donald, Sonic. We've got our hot cocoa in there. Yep. And uh, extra meat products as oh, well. Yes. Some tunas. These we did in our food saver. I think they have a date somewhere. 620. 620. So we did these in our food saver um, to give them an extra layer of protection. So there's about three packages. These are the six ounce packages of the white tuna. And what do we have here? This one actually has rice and beans with the tuna. And then we've got some more mashed potatoes. We threw some honey in there, mm -hmm. as well as some um, magic naps. Yep, some little magic towels. So we're going to continue to build on that. But our goal is to turn a 30-day supply for one person into a 30-day supply for two people. Yeah. And I think we're off to a good and start. And this, this is from 2014. Yeah. So, I think I mean, they're black now. I think yeah. they come in a, a black packaging. The products are just as good. Yep. So Everything's let's, let's the try the, the creamy chicken rice. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, it says that we need to remove the oxygen absorber and we need to stir contents into two and a half cups of boiling water. Let's get some boiling water. All right, I've already added two cups of water. Here's my other half. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to add our stuff in it. All right, I wanted to show you a few things that you could add to these types of meals. And all you would need to do is put them in your food saver and add them to your kits. Right here, we have some dehydrated ground beef, dehydrated vegetables. The great thing about dehydrated food is it's super light. This is dehydrated shredded chicken. This cooks up beautifully. You could add these pouches of chicken or tuna or salmon or any kind of meats that you wanted to add. And that would really bulk up these meals and stretch them farther and give you more protein. All right, we wanted to show you that there are four servings in this bag at 260 calories each. So that's why there's only three bags of food in there. This is supposed to be four meals. So you would, if you wanted to cook them individually, you would have to measure them out. All right, let's cut it open and see. Our water's ready. Remove the oxygen absorber. Show them inside. Mm. Oh, let me give it a sniff. Mmm, smells good. All right, I'm going to dump it in. It says to whisk it in and then turn the heat to medium and let it cook for 20 minutes, stirring frequently. All right, at this point, when you add in the powder, this would be a great time to add in some of your dehydrated food. If you were doing vegetables, I would pre-soak those, though. I would soak them in some warm water, probably for about 10 minutes before you added them to your pot. But I'm telling you, that would thicken this up, make it way heartier. You could add so many different things. You could serve it with noodles, 
just the possibilities are endless, but so, so far, So, I have what? a question. If you added some dehydrates to it, would you have to add more water to the actual mix? Well, not so much with the meats. Okay. A little bit, just a little bit, maybe a quarter cup per you know, half a cup you put in, but the vegetables, like I said, I would actually rehydrate those a little bit first because they are, they are hard. And, um, I don't know if 20 minutes in here with some extra water would get the job done. So do both rehydrate a little first, then add to here and let them continue to cook. Man, we'll it smells good. Smells delicious. See you in 20 minutes. All right. It's completely done. The stove is off. It said to cook it for 20 minutes, turn off the stove, and let it sit for two minutes. This has gotten so thick. Doesn't that look good? It does. It smells really good. It smells delicious. All right, let's let's dish some up. Let's show it to them real close. It looks good. It's got a lot of rice in it. It's very thick. I can see broccoli, all and kinds carrots. of stuff, peas. All right, let's get Amy to taste test that. It's gonna be really hot, so be careful. Okay, so we haven't added anything extra to this. No. There's no extra salt or pepper or anything like that. No, and on the sodium, it was only a 13%. I think it was 260 or 270 milligrams. Yeah, and I'm a salt person, so. Which she shouldn't. I know, but we're gonna taste it without all that. Mm. Is that good? Yeah. The only, I wouldn't even add salt, I don't think. Man, that's good. Maybe some pepper and some ex some chicken. Mm -hmm. Actually put some meat into it. Maybe some extra vegetables. Yeah, you could if you were trying to stretch it. Yeah, I think that's what it I want to do. It is really good, though. Isn't wow, it? way to go for Patriots. Yeah. That's amazing. Good job, you guys. Show them, like, dump a spoon out so they can see... It's thick. The thickness. It is really thick. Almost like a casserole. Yeah, thick. it is. It is really, really good. I'm not kidding. Packed with flavor. Mm-hmm. Very wow. good. Wow. Good job, guys. This. I'm going to repack this bag now. And what I did is I pulled this chicken noodle from the 30-day supply kit that we have. And I'm adding it back into this as well as three pouches of chicken, some uh, freeze-dried strawberries, and some granola bars. That way, we now have another complete kit. All right, everyone, on our next Four Patriots video, please look for it. We are going to do a review of the Patriot Power Cell. Notice we have four of them here. We're only going to keep one for ourselves, and we're going to give three of them away. And we'll also talk about this awesome flashlight they sent us. So be looking for that video coming really soon. All right, everybody, what did you think about that 72-hour kit? I really thought that that creamy rice was delicious. It was. It was really, really good. Uh, I had two little bowls of it. Didn't add salt to any of it, which is kind of crazy for mm -hmm. me, but I did add pepper to the second one. But, but it wasn't overly salty No, at not all. at all. It had really good flavor. The one thing I will say is that, um, like Ash was talking about when she was cooking it, how you would want to uh, rehydrate those veggies if you put them yeah. in first. The peas didn't quite get soft. They were kind of hard little nuggets in there. Mm -hmm. So it would be cool if they could maybe package those type of things separately. So you could run so, some hot water yeah. on them and let them sit. <clears throat> but other than that, man, that it was really good food. Really and it's good. a fantastic vehicle for other things. Yeah. You could stretch that little meal by adding chicken and more dehydrated. Like, I think I would like to add my California mix. The, the broccoli, cauliflower... And the squash. And either your dehydrated uh, chicken chunks yeah. or the shredded chicken would be really good in it. You could throw it on top of a um, baked potato. I mean, oh, it's that's all, a good idea. It's all kinds of stuff you can do with it to help, you know, extend it. But, uh -huh. man, it was great flavor, great flavor. And for people that are like me that aren't cookers, because <laughs> I'm the eater, not the cooker. She's not a cooker. Uh, this is perfect. It really is because it doesn't require anything other than water. And, and, and to watch it. Watch it, it for 20 minutes. Yeah, so, man, what a great deal. But it does 
require water and that's why for us we don't have this kind of food packed in our bug out bags our bug out bags has tuna and chicken things like that ready to go beef jerky mm -hmm. granola bars everything that's ready to eat no water required yeah and the only reason we would ever bug out is if there were a fire yeah uh we're we're here we're here so you know <laughs> this food for us, and as you saw, we have some already that we've had for a long time. This is last case scenario, and it just happens to taste really yeah. good. For so us, it's last bonus. case scenario. You know, if you have if you have the money and you ne not necessarily have the ability to go and buy the things like we buy yeah, and like the staples, you know, for like I said, for someone like me that wouldn't know how to even begin to do that or use it once I have it. This is perfect. It is perfect. perfect. And we know a ton of people that that's their case. They don't want a prepper pantry. They don't want to deal with it. They just want to have a bunch of long-term food put back. This that is they the way to go. That, and this is definitely Their food the way is to really go. good. You know, all the MREs that we've tasted yeah. and the other survival foods, this definitely has the best flavor we've had thus far. I agree 100%. Yeah. No All joke. right, everybody. We hope you are stacking it. Keep stacking it to the Raptors. Mm -hmm. uh, look for links in the description yeah. if you're interested in this type of food. Uh, but the time is now. The time we have is absolutely got now. to get prepping. And um, it's not just the gas prices, which are insane, but it's time. Yeah. Things are going to get pretty bad. Yeah, I believe so. So if, if you're in a position where... You know, you want to start prepping and maybe haven't already. This is a great option for you. Yeah. If you already have a prepper pantry and you want to just make sure you have some extra goods in there, this is, again, a great, great option. It's really good food. It really is. We're... So I want to try the oatmeal tomorrow morning. So thank you, Randy. We are yes, so glad you so that you much. reached out. Sorry about the delay in our video, yeah. but, you know, this is when we were able to do it. All right, everybody. Keep stacking it. Don't stop. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the links below, leave us a comment, and we love you all. And we're going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you all. Peace.